hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how i made my halloween theme outdoor balloon garland so stick around so first i decided to inflate my orange balloons and the look for this garland i've decided to make it a color block that means it's gonna be uh, chunks of one color at a time and I'm just gonna add some extra texture to it and that's basically the look that I'm going for. So for the orange balloons, I have uh, about two different versions of the orange. I think it'll be very cute to um, give it that extra uh, colorful texture by mixing two different orange. I have a flat orange and a pearlized orange. And these are both um, 12 inch balloons. I'm gonna make clusters of them. And I don't really care, there's not a pat pattern to it. It will be an organic look. So same thing with the size. I'm not too worried about making them bigger than others. But you'll see, as usual, I am deflating the balloon a little bit to give it that uh, round shape as opposed to the pear shape. And I'm going to be playing with the colors to give it more dimension for the orange uh, clusters. So now I'm moving on with my black balloons and these are also 12 inch balloons and funny enough the black colors have two different colors, a very jet black shiny ones. And I also noticed that uh, there were some blacks that look more chrome to it, almost like a metalish uh, color to it. So it's pretty cool that even within the black, there's a mix of the two colors. And I'm also building my clusters of uh, six balloons each. Uh, that will make that will give it a fuller look for the garland now the black and the orange will be my base colors and I've decided that the white balloons will be my accent colors Okay, you guys, when shopping around uh, during the Halloween season, I found these uh, printed Halloween balloons and I got a few of each of the colors. I think if I spread them out throughout the garland, they will look so cute. And uh, in this case, I just put them single because I want to add a 260Q balloon and attach them where I feel it's necessary. So. I'm just inflating them separately and same thing, I'm moving on with my white clusters. Uh, in this case, my clusters, I am going to make them smaller only because I want them to be just accent colors, not full on garland. And that's what I'm doing right now. I also found white skeleton and orange pumpkin printed balloons, which I think they will look so cute. And But you'll get to see later on when I put the garland together, how the whole look comes together.
Okay, so now that I have all my clusters ready to go, I will go ahead and start building my garland. As you can see in the background, I already uh, built my garland and now I'm moving on to my printed balloons. So I will attach the 260Q balloon. I cut it in half to save some balloon and I'm gonna attach that at the end of this one and make sure that I make two knots so it doesn't come um, it doesn't come off off of the garland secure it well and I will be putting this little balloon right in the corner and seeing where it fits I think right about there is where I'm gonna be um, placing this balloon So you guys can see better this is what it would look like I'm trying to make sure that there's a big cluster of white and it goes into my smaller cluster I think that makes it more organic look and that's pretty much the shape that I will be doing for each of my uh, columns that I have already made I had to speed up the process and I'm sorry I didn't uh, record that part but you pretty much know how to build a garland by now um, I just wanted to speed it up because I know this video can be too long but I want to show you guys how I set it all up outside on my front entrance I will also be using these foil balloons I got and I think it'll act as a huge, huge accent on the top of my um, balloon garland. And here, you guys, I did not record how I uh, placed the hooks in the siding, but pretty much they're just called uh, vinyl siding hooks. And that way you don't have to glue anything on your siding or make holes you just hook them up in between the sidings and that should hold a garland and all I did really was just grab my balloon string and just tie them up on the hooks and that's how I set it all up but now as you see me I'm going pretty high up there although in the video it doesn't show you guys I need somebody to grab onto me because it is pretty high up there and I'm placing my big pumpkin foil balloon on the top and I'm having of course my sister go back and take a look and see if that looks good from there or you know just playing with where I want it but I think the original place right there is where I needed it so that it looks, you know, it gives some height to my garland. But overall, I love the way it looks. And you guys, I need to work extra fast because on my house, in the mornings, uh, the sun just hits the whole entire front of the house. So I wanted to work fast because being that the balloons are outdoor, uh, they tend to expand if the sun or the heat hits them and they start popping. So I got to make sure that I work fast. And of course, today is the morning of Halloween and I'm getting all these decorations done for the kids, for my kids, and to take pictures and have that memorable moment for them. So... You know, I couldn't take too much time recording each and every bit of it, but you guys get the pretty, a pretty good idea of, you know, how quickly we had to work on getting this whole display set up. Now, this morning of uh, Halloween, of course, it was a pretty cold morning but eventually in the afternoon started getting warmer and here I am telling my daughter she can't come out yet <laughs> because she was really trying to help out with the balloons and in the meantime I have my sister assist me with the balloons and hanging them and place them 
and keep in mind it was windy it was cold yet the sun was hitting the front of the house so we were trying not to make any balloons pop and you know the two of us are working really hard to get this uh, display set up and that's what I'm doing now you see on the side of the house I could have put that column right next where the door opens but because the balloons were thick um, it was going to limit for the door to open so I decided to put it on the side of the house but when you see the finished look you guys it looks almost like 3d it looks really good and I was so happy with the display overall that you know I can't wait for the next event that I can do another type of garland with different colors so maybe a Halloween one was not just enough maybe I need a Christmas one who knows So now me and my sister decided to start attaching the printed balloons all around the balloon garlands and we're just spreading them out. We're adding a few, not a lot of them because we didn't want to overwhelm the garland with a bunch of printed balloons, but we strategically put them in places where it made sense. We also keep in mind have the spider webs and spiders coming up so you didn't want to you know put too much in the garland it'll weigh it down as well so but right now we're just attaching the printed balloons and I think for a dollar it gave it a very cute look and again as you see me I'm cutting a two six Okay, so now that all the printed balloons are in place, I decided to go ahead and start putting the spider webs, those big spiders, and I'm pretty much trying to place them on the lighter balloons because that will be a contrast. So if somebody's walking by or cars passing by or even pictures, you can see the spiders from far. 
and I have a very special helper <laughs> and she wanted to place the spiders on the garland so I take it as a very cute bonding moment with my daughter so why not have the kids help out and have fun with them right on Halloween which we were not really going trick-or-treating you guys because with this whole pandemic I just didn't feel I my babies are too little to go around with you know a potential virus out there so I decided to spend it at home but you know still make it memorable for them and for pictures and I built a whole graveyard in my backyard and funny enough I had some Easter eggs I stuffed them with candy and hid them hid them all around the yard and my daughter had a blast finding the eggs with the candy so this in this morning right now she's just helping me out with decorating the spiders and she loves halloween you guys so this was a perfect bonding moment and um you know then we did pictures and the egg hunt so it was actually overall a very nice halloween for us a little chilly but beautiful because the sun was out and keeping in mind <laughs> where i live uh the next day it turned out to be raining pouring rain so but this is the morning of halloween and we loved every minute of it we love how the garland looks my daughter was in awe every time she saw the garland so it was a very special thing to do for them and you know keep some normality for the kids right And here we are um, adding some finishing touches. I had bought some purple mums uh, to decorate the front entrance. And here's the final look. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I was very pleased with the overall look of the garland. I think it made the house extra festive and I I had so much fun building it. So I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos and let me hear your thoughts, comments, maybe next year for Halloween I can use different colors, which I think I will, but um, stay tuned for more videos. I have a fun video coming up also for Halloween that I did for indoor garland and it was Hocus Pocus inspired looked. So stay tuned for that. And again, you guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video.